Hello. So, it is time for playoffs. The semi-finals of GSC Season 4. This time, we're against Cool. Um... Cool and the Denghang Daramaka, which we played in the regular season and it was close. Um, I believe I went back and we got some luck in our favour, uh, they got some luck in their favour, um, but in the end it was overall a very close game. They also brought some interesting sets, most notably that Urshifu, uh, which was Iron Defence, um, Iron Defense Body Press, I believe, uh, with your U-Turn and Protect as an answer to my Terrakion, so, uh, and to my Entei, so, um, they also brought, um, I believe it was Specs, Kiru? I believe it was Specs, um, Nasty Plot Deoxys Defense, um, Special Defensive Umbreon, Confei, and Scarf Nidoking, I believe it was a Defensive Confei and a Scarf Nidoking. So, we won that one, but I don't expect them to take, I don't, don't expect them to, uh, to exactly let me just win this. Um, Cool is a very consistent playoff player, um, and actually someone who also consistently makes finals. So, we've got a tough one ahead of us. As a reminder for their full team, the aforementioned Kirim, uh, Rapid Strike, and, uh, Deox, uh, aforementioned Kir Urshifu Rapid Strike, Kirim, Deoxys Defense, Umbreon, Talonflame, which they didn't bring, Mega Manectric, which they didn't bring, the aforementioned Confei and Neo King, uh, Kakaraja, Miss Magius, Quilan, and Marini. Now, last time I actually had to make sure I had something for Miss Magius, which they didn't end up bringing. Um, and I actually don't think. Uh, no, I think I've got something for it. Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. I have a way to kind of play around it, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so. Scary team. Um, but I think they're going to make some adaptations. My main adaptation that I'm expecting them to make is bringing Mega Manectric this time. Last time, Mega Blastoise kind of just went on a tear against them. Um, it broke a lot of their team. Uh, for example, it, it, it got the kill on the Nido King. It got the kill on something else. I want to say it was the it was either the Umbreon or the Confei. One of the two we got the kill there, um, and put the Deoxys Defense down very very low, um, just because after one Rapid Spin they didn't have anything faster than it, other than the Scarf Nido King. So, um, I think they're going to bring Mega Manectric this time. I think there's a possibility they bring Talonflame, but I don't think it's likely. And they could bring Miss Magius, but I think they're going to be relying on other special attackers for this one. Um, they may also go with a more defensive Deoxys defense and a more offensive uh, Kyurem. Not Kyurem. Uh, they'll go for an offensive Kyurem regardless. An offensive Urshifu this time. Um, while I think the uh, Iron Defense Body Press stuff was cute and actually ended up being good against exactly my Dragapult, they'll know I'll be ready for it this time. So I don't think they're going to bring it again. Um, it was cute, and it was, like, effective against my Dragapult exactly. Um, and good against Teraki on an Entei, and if they feel like they need answers to those, they may bring it again, but I think they need to bring up something else if they want to take that on, specifically. So, um, I'm bringing some odd stuff, but also some stuff I'm think I think is good. The thing is, I've, something I think I've got to learn... Especially when it comes to playoffs, because I find myself this doing this a lot, is I've got to find the balance between something that I think's goofy and something that I think can win. Um, so we'll get to that. As to start of the team, Mega Blastoise is making its return with a very, very similar set. We're actually running a lot more speed this time to actually catch a potential uh, Mega Manectric. Um, so a plus one speed here. Gets us to about four, uh, gets us to, uh, actually gets us to a, uh, faster than I'm expecting them to run. Um, on, it was originally at what speed my Dragapult was about, uh, after a plus one. Which, uh, I've actually ended up changing my Dragapult speed. But this is kind of hits above, just above the base 110 mark. Which is what I expect their speeds to be looking like because of the, um, because like, unless they're trying to outspeed exactly modest max speed, 
uh, Mega Blastoise with the Manegatrix. That's this is how much speed speed I expect them to be running. Um, otherwise, we get to go Modest Special Attack, and hopefully we can put in a similar amount of pressure with Mega Blastoise. Mega Blastoise has kind of been our key special attacker when we need it to be, because uh, we are going to be going Physical Dragon Pull this time. So we do need Mega Blastoise to be our key special attacker to help break through some of the physically defensive Pokemon. Uh, Mega Blastoise is still going to do a ton of damage to a lot of different Pokemon. Same coverage as last time, I didn't feel the need to change it. Water Pulse, Aura Sphere, Dark Pulse, alongside the Rapid Spin, also gives us an extra bit of removal, because they do have Spike Stacking in the Deoxys, as well as Rocks Access, so maybe even T-Spike. So we do have that uh, form of removal. Next up, for the first time, we're bringing Clefairy. Um, so, I needed something to deal with Kyurem. And I know they're going to be ready for Jirachi. Um, so, I had to change things up. And I felt Jirachi was really iffy a lot of the time. And I don't think they're going to expect Clefairy because I have not brought it all season. Wish Protect, Moon, uh, Baton Pass, and Moonblast are uh, especially defensive. This takes on Kyurem really, really well. Even uh, Subaru's Kyurem can't live... Uh, even with max HP, can't live a sub. Our uh, magic garden means we don't have to care about toxic or anything like that. And we can baton pass out at our earliest convenience. Um, I would normally run min speed, but there is actually a copper Raja. So if the copper Raja does come, uh, we can outspeed it and baton pass it out. Otherwise, just max HP, max special defense. Make sure we can get in, wish up, threaten the earth, make sure Kyurem switch out and get into one of our bulkier pieces. So we were kind of bringing the, uh, something I've been doing a lot. We're going like free defense, free offense. So um, we'll save the Dragon Ball for the end because the Dragon Ball is spicy this week. Um, next up, Life Orb Entei. I didn't bring Entei last time. Didn't bring the Fairy last time. Um, Life Orb Entei, I think, is going to be better than Terrakion. I think we're going to be more ready for Terrakion. Uh, while I threw it away last time, they'll see that as a mistake on my part and something I will try and play around more, especially because I'm going to want it for Umbreon. But I'm choosing to bring Entei instead, because I think Entei is going to be better overall. Um, with Sacred Fire, E-Speed, Stone Edge, and uh, Flare Blitz. Uh, the Life Orb is really nice, because it does help pick up some extra 2-bit KOs with Flare Blitz that I wouldn't get otherwise. Uh, E-Speed, really nice to pick things off at the end game. Uh, the Inner Focus is actually really nice here, because of Mega Manectric's Intimidate, means I can't get Intimidated out down, and I can just E-Speed to finish it off if it's taken some chip. Stone Edge is pretty much there for the Talonflame. Uh, it's, I guess, nice for the um, the Kyurem as well. But uh, if I have to risk a Stone Edge on a Kyurem, I think I'm going to throw up. So we've just gone Shelly Max Speed. I'm not going to rest them out with EVs. I already want to be faster than the Urshifu. I may as well speed tie the Confei if it's running speed for whatever reason. So next up. Uh, physically offensive Mandibuzz with Rocky Helmet. I think this is the exact same Mandibuzz I brought last time. Over them, I'm actually choosing to run Foul Play this time with a Brave Bird. Um... Just for more general use, um, I've got all the Pokemon that can damage it, uh, damage the Urshifu, and if it is going to be more of a bulkier set, maybe a bulk up set, then Brave Bird's not even going to do that much damage anyway, and I'd rather just get the Rocky Helmet damage. There's a good chance they do end up running like Protective Pads bulk up or something like that, um, but we do have ways to uh, answer that. So, um, no Pokemon that didn't end up coming last time, the third and final one that didn't, uh, is Mudsdale. This is a meta call because I'm expecting them to go Mega Manectric this time. Uh, so we're going for a special defensive Mudsdale. This is also nice into Nidoking. Um, surprisingly, I will trade Mudsdale for Nidoking every day of the week because I hate Nidoking and it's really annoying to play against at times. Um, it means a Sludge Wave into an Ice Beam from Modest Life Orb is not a kill. So we can live and we can get the EQ off and take it out, which is really, really nice. Rock's Life for the Talonflame. Stealth Rocks is my, you know, Rocker of the Week. Um, ended up bringing two Pokemon that can actually set Stealth Rocks, which is nice. But, you know, I'll, I'll put it on the Mudsdale because Clefairy can actually do something else in, in Wish Passing. And then Toxic is going to be nice to spread around on quite a few Mons to make sure things get whittled down. Uh, if I have to sink over a Toxic on the, on the Umbreon, I'll take that every day of the week. And last but not least, the Spice. Something I've been saving a little bit for all season. And don't know if it's the best here. But it's certainly good and I think has application. Weakness policy DD pull. So we outspeed Urshifu naturally. Um, we don't outspeed Confei naturally, but that's it. Uh, it's Confei plus we do not outspeed naturally. Uh, DD, Phantom Force, Steel Wing for the Confei. And Dragon Dance. The idea here is one DD and will outspeed everything regardless. Even a lot of Scarfers that they'll have. 
uh, Will Outspeed Scarf Kieran, for example, Scarf Urshifu, uh, and Scarf Nidoking, all of those get outsped. So one of the main ways that they'll have to weaken me down uh, is Comfe uh, with the Priority Draining Kiss. And that's where the weakness policy comes in. We're super bulky because we don't have to run any speed to get where we need to. We're adamant max attack and one weakness policy and a DD and things are over. Things are done. We've got the clear body because of the intimidate from the, uh, from the, uh, what's it called? From the Minectric. Uh, after one DD, we outspeed Minectric. Like I said, we outspeed everything. Um, after one DD, including anything that isn't a Scarf Confe or faster. And there's no reason to run Scarf Confe, so they're not going to be Scarf Confe. And then what, Scarf Talonflame? No. Um, I have just thought about Scarf, or uh, like uh, Miss Magius, which I won't be faster than naturally. Um, I might actually have to run speed for Miss Magius because uh, I actually don't have anything naturally faster than it. So we will have to run a... Oh. Don't open Discord. Thankfully, it didn't just show my whole Discord there. Um, we will have to be faster than Miss Magius, unfortunately. Uh, because I actually cannot afford to be uh, slower than Miss Magius. Um, so, we'll have to cut some bulk here. Um, but I, I can't afford to be slower than Miss Magius. So, we'll go 340 speed. Lose a little bit of bulk, but we make sure we outspeed Miss Magius. And we have something that can revenge kill it. Which is nice, because we will need that. Um... Originally, I was running a bit more speed, but um, I dropped down the bulk. Uh, and since we do have the damage calc up, I want to show you why this is so good. Uh, so, I mean, we'll, we'll do a pull on uh, the physical side. On our side. So, DD, uh, this is Dragon Fang. We're going to take that off uh, versus Umbreon. Now, Umbreon is one of the main things to try and kill. Uh, this is a physically offensive Umbreon, and as we can see, we do 40% minimum against uh, special defensive Umbreon. We get one DD off, we're looking at 60%. We get the weakness policy as well, and that's dead after rocks. Now, if it's physical offensive, we're going to need a lot more chip. Um, I mean, look at that. That's going to need it down to 70 for, uh, down to 70% uh, about before I can feel comfortable going for it, even after the weakness policy. That being said, I still think it's very, very solid. Um, because of Phantom Force. Uh, Phantom Force will force in the Umbreon and then make it so it still dies after the darts. Uh, and if you look at Confei as well, um, like Phantom Force does insane damage. Uh, you can see how much Draining Kiss does from max special attack. Uh, and Steel Wing can get the KO, uh, I think even maybe after plus one. Uh, plus one uh, against the um, against a, a max speed version. Which we do now outspeed. Um, but if it is max HP and max defense or whatever, it's going to live. But it'll drain and kiss us first. And that's important. Because it procs our weakness policy and allows us to... In fact, this isn't looking at this HP investment. So, 176. It, barely, it can barely do above 50% unless it's running like modest. And then we get the kill no matter what. Even against max HP, max defense. Uh, we'll get the kill against the Confe. Uh, so, that's bold. Um... We go to plus three, and we get the kill guaranteed. So, uh, DD pull, I think, is, is something I've not brought all season, and I don't think it's the most common set uh, to begin with. DD pull, it's something out there, and I brought physical last time, but I think the physical pull last time was a weakness for me. And I think they're going to more expect me to go special this time, because I ended up going with the physical pull last time. So this is kind of a reverse mind game, where I'm choosing to go with a physical pult, but this time I'm ended up going with a really set up reliant pult. So we'll have to see how things go. Um, this is certainly an interesting one. I'm not bringing Jirachi for like one of the first times this whole season. Um, could be a mistake, but I feel like mixing things up is really important, and I still think all of the Pokemon I'm bringing have their uses. I think Lefairy is a much better check to a uh, much better overall check to Kyurem, especially because I don't expect it to run Flash Cannon. Uh, there's no reason for it to run Flash Cannon after the team that I brought last time. Um, as a result, Clefairy should be very very safe. Mudsdale, I'm expecting Mega Manectric 1,000%. I don't think they can't they can't bring. The same six that they brought last time. And I expect to get through Mega Blastoise in the same capacity. So I'm going with uh, with Mudsdale. It's also nice for some uh, some of the other things as well. Um, 
Notably, it can trade with Nido King. It can be decent into Confei. Um, so there's a few things that it could be decent into. So um, I'm also maybe gonna do one small final change. Um, I just uh, I don't know. I'm gonna look at Mudsdale versus Miss Majors. I just want to see if I can break a sub with a Rock Slide. Even against Max HP. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I could do that. Um. Just want to make sure I can break this up with a rock slide. So. Um. Just in case it comes. So I am physically offensive mandibles. Um. And Clefairy can switch into it. And then Baton pass out. So like Pult can come in for free. And you know scare it out. So. That's the idea. So. Um. But yeah. Um. Matches later today. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. And I'm going into this. Hoping not to be disappointed. I often get really disappointed after playoffs because I end up losing pretty much as soon as I get here. So I'm going to try not to be disappointed, but I'm also not going to, you know, give up. So wish me luck and I'll see you guys later for the match. All right, it's time. Oh dear, I do not feel great. It's uh, locked me out. For some reason, uh, I don't feel great. Um, I feel like I've got a little bit of heartburn or something. I mean, a heartburn, but like my throat, uh, my chest doesn't feel great. So, um, if I'm not talking as much, one, that'll be because I'm focusing, and two, because of uh, they did bring me an trick. I'm glad I called that. Miss Magus, that's so t like no curum, no curum, <sighs> no curum. Super, super nice. Does mean called fairies a little bit. On the uh, the less of useful sides, but yeah, I, 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 it might be useful to pivot out of a uh, Miss Majors, to be honest. Okay, I don't want him just leading uh, Shifu here, and me leading Mudsdale and it being bad. There's no like real safe lead for me. Um I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna leave once down. So yeah, no Kyurem, no T-Flame, I called them Electric, no Confei, no Nido King. They swapped out the... Swapped out a few. They led Deoxys Defense, okay. Uh, I will 1000% take a Toxic on this. On the 1000% take a Toxic on that. Um, No questions asked. Uh, I don't have Boots on Mandy, but I sh should be okay. Probably need to get into Mandy at some point. They go for the knockoff. I'll get up my rocks. Just go for an EQ. Go to Umbreon. Does reasonable damage. Let's see if we can figure out if that's physical or special. Uh, it's physically defensive. I'm going to guess phys uh, specially defensive. Ooh, no, it's physical. 25%? Yeah, that's more physically offensive. Okay, that's good to know off the bat. Uh, impish. Yeah, that's definitely physically offensive. Um, so I'm gonna go to Mandy because I can't afford rocks to be up for this game. Um... Yeah, I can't afford rocks to be up this, for this game, so I need to actually roost. Uh, I need to 
defog here. <clears throat> it's better for me to... They take the, the rocks chip, that's fine. Um, Woodsdale is here for the... For the Manectric. Um, I suppose I should also note uh, that Cool actually forgot that we were playing today. Um, so they built their team very quickly. So. Um, they did bring Marini. That was a good call. That was a very good call. Um, uh, do I want to let Mandibus take the two hits? I could go to Blastoise. I think I'm more okay going to Clefairy. Bandit will kill me. Um, if it's not Bandit, it's still going to do a lot of damage. Um, but I'm also thinking it's likely to U-turn, and I just want to go into Clefairy regardless. So I'm just going to go here. I don't think... I Like... I want to know what item they are. Oh, Clefairy's not as useful here. It was initially here for the Curum, but the Curum hasn't come, so I'm not as worried. Especially because it's looking more like a defensive Deoxys. It is Surging Strikes. Okay. It's not Bandit. That would have done more. Um... I'm going to just let Clefairy go. Sorry, Clefairy, you were here for a Pokemon that didn't end up coming. Um, so, could be Scarfed. Could be a lot of things. Um, it's tempting to Roost. Um... Knowing it's not scarfed means that uh, mandibles can come in a lot freer. Um, so I think I'm willing to roost here. Let's go to Umbreon. Okay. So we get to roost off. Um, I'm going to U-turn on out. Um, and since I know you're a, a physical one, a physically offensive one, I feel fairly safe just going into Blastoise here. Go for a wish. Um... How much would a water pulse do to a Mega Manectric? About 40%. It's just going to wish that off. So it's a... And it may, be, it may try and baton pass, but if it's if it's physically offensive and it wants to take an Aura Sphere, that's a bit dicey for it. Especially because I can just go to Mudsdale, and then I can go to Mandibuzz and kind of learn more stuff from there. Let's go to Marini. I wonder if this is their defensive check to Blastoise that they wanted this time around. Um. So, Aura Sphere did 19%. Which means I think that is more likely to be physically offensive or like Calm, just Calm 4 or something like that. Oh, it doesn't have max HP actually. I don't know. Um, okay, it might actually just be physically offensive, I'm not too sure. Um, hmm. so Dark Pulse is going to do reasonable chunk. What if it wants to toxic me? That's what I'm thinking it wants to do, but like... I can't really do anything about that. Really wasn't expecting the Marini. Um Like I kinda want a rapid spin. Try and go up a couple of rapid spins and see if I can stop breaking, but like if it's got like recover, then it's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna go for the Dark Pulse. I do get a crit, but it does uh, it does go for the toxic. Um I would need another get uh, another crit to get the kill. Um, 
not mandibles, uh, Mudsdale. How much would a Mudsdale Earthquake do to a max defense one? Um, 60%? No way. Can't really go for that. Um... I think I'm going to try and get up my rocks here. Yeah, I expected to recover. I uh, can't toxic it. Um, they may just switch here, to be honest, because they don't want to take an EQ. Um, two EQs, and they will die. Um, so go to Deoxys. I'm going to get up my my hazards here. Um, that is actually the perfect percent, actually. There's a chance we can do it right now. Um, I am actually going to go to Pult. They put up rocks. And I'm going to DD. I'm going to DD and I'm going to see what happens. This is our main win condition. But with rocks up and a DD. And if it decides to go for uh, knockoff. I think we win the game. I'm glad I ran the extra speed just in case Miss Mages as well. I'm very worried about this. I DD. They recover. Okay. They just want to see what I want to do. Do I go for a second DD? How much would two DDs do to a physically offensive Umbreon? Uh, bold, whatever. Plus two, 58%. Dicey. Um, what about a... So if I guess... If it goes for knockoff, obviously it doesn't matter. Uh, if, we, if we get the... If we get the weakness party off, I believe at this point we win the game. Um... If I go for darts, and I catch the Umbreon switching, it will go down to 61, 67%. There's a chance we get it. I want to DD again. They go for the knockoff, and we get the weakness policy. Yeah. Um, and now let's check... Um, Deoxys. Deoxys defense, max defense. I'm just not even going to consider any anything else. 57% minimum. Um, I will Phantom Force because I do not want to take any risks here. I'm locked into Phantom Force. They have to let Deoxys go. Rocky Helmet. It's pretty much going to urge if we're going to kill, and I don't think Aqua Jet's going to be enough. I outspeed everything with the two DDs. I'm at 680 speed. I outspeed any Scarf as they have. Uh, ev everything should die here. Everything should die. I think even physically offensive Marini. Not something I counted for, but I'm going to calc it. Max HP... Max defense plus four dead. Everything dies to everything dies to darts. Everything dies to 
every single thing dies. No Scarfer can outspeed me. We should win the game from this position. I was saving this set all season because I knew it could work against uh, some teams. And while it didn't work in the way that I was expecting, I think they should do it. And I believe uh, Aquajet can't get the kill. There's no way that a non banded Urshifu can get this kill um, with Aquajet. So that's banded. Banded Aquajet does 20% at max. Uh, not even a crit banded Aquajet could do it. Uh, they've got no other priority on the team. Every single Pokemon dies. Um, I'll check everything. I'll I'll check everything uh, to make sure that everything gets to kill. Um, my neck trick. They've got to pray that I'm not. Um, I mean, darts is my strongest move. There's no reason for me to do anything but click darts. I've got clear body, so I don't have to worry about the intimidate. I outspeed because I'm 680 speed. Because of the two Dragon Dancers that I got. This should be a game. Yep, clear body. Just one dart is all that's needed. Umbreon. Darts. This should kill. Plus, yeah, 50% minimum. 50% uh, on each dart. Urshifu comes in, and each Pokemon. Each Pokemon goes down to darts. Weakness policy, Dragapult. I knew it was a good play, and it gets us the win, which gets us to GSC Season 4 Finals, baby! Obviously, I understand Cool was pushed for time. Um, we had. Uh, messed up scheduling, they thought we were playing a different day. Um, so they understand that they built this team quickly. Uh, but still, it was some stuff that I was prepared for. I certainly wasn't expecting the Marini or the Miss Majors because they didn't bring it last time. But we got the win. We got the win. Wheat as policy dragon pull. I knew it was clutch. Say I was saving all season and I'm glad to have saved it for this one. 5-0, and Pult got every single kill. Very few times that Pult will do that, but uh, that will do it. We made it to finals for the first time in GSC after making it to playoffs twice in this league. It's our third time making playoffs. And this time, we've got a chance at the gold. So, a bit, a bit of a combination here of you know, stuff that I think is good and stuff that I think is a bit off. Like, I don't think it's expected that I go weakest policy Dragon Ball. I didn't do it all season. And that is going to do it. So, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.